Iowa Republican Congressman Steve King was on today's conference call, that Hill conference call that was at 11 a.m. Eastern Time today. He joins us now on the phone. Congressman King, thank you for joining us. Uh, tell us, what came out of that call today? Well, I think within 30 minutes, uh, Heather, there was uh, stories up in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal that I think, uh, in, in your reporting, is fairly characterized a conference call. I don't want to go very far out of school because uh, keeping uh, that conversation inside the family is a good idea. Well, give us a sense uh, as to what was said. Well, the, the, the things that were reported with regard to um, no longer going out to uh, work and campaign for Trump, uh, but focusing the energies on, on holding as many House seats as possible and where there's some uh, an ability to also help with some Senate seats. Um, I will tell you, I disagree with that approach. And I disagree, you disagree with, it with because, Speaker Ryan, you're saying? Yeah, yes. Uh, the, the, the presidency in a presidential race carries so much weight, and it drags down the, I mean, if it drags down the ballots of, of us, it also lifts us up. Mm -hmm. uh, the best thing that we can do uh, to hold the most Republican seats in the House and to hold the majority in the Senate is for all of us to pull together and, and turn to this, and that is that. No, we, we don't support what uh, Donald Trump was reported to have said 11 years ago. No one defends that. But uh, we do support the platform and the policies that he has brought forward. Mm -hmm. That is the product of the Republican Party. Now, you were an uh, early that, Trump supporter. I recall you and I having talked about this months and months ago. But what was the reaction from the other members of the Republican Party when Paul Ryan said, you know, hey, let's focus on controlling the House. Let's focus on keeping control of the House. I mean, earlier it had been talked about potentially uh, focusing on the Senate. And now the fact that the House may be in play, I mean, that's something altogether different. Well, I mean, myself, I don't know that. I don't think the House is in play, um, and I do think the Senate is in play. But if the early polling said that Trump is down by 14, that is a temporary situation. And I would, I would just guarantee, I, I would bet the farm that if Trump should lose this election, it won't be by 14 or more points. This race is much closer than that. That's reactionary. And uh, here's uh, one thing I would draw on. Four years ago, when Todd Aiken made the statement that he made in Missouri, is some of the leaders in the establishment wing of the Republican Party lined up against Todd Aiken and decided they would save themselves by throwing Todd Aiken under the bus. And what happened was uh, they lost that Senate seat in Missouri. But we happen to and, have been And you think that that night. is what Speaker Ryan's trying to do right now? Well, I think what's happening is it's not necessarily throwing under the bus. It's stepping back from it. And I think that's clear in his language. And uh, he made it clear that he's not withdrawing his endorsement of Donald Trump. So there's room to work here. And I'm hopeful that we can pull some of this back together. Well, he also um, said he wanted to make sure Hillary Clinton doesn't get a blank check and wants to maintain control of the House and the Senate. And that would be his, his chief job. He's not going to be out there campaigning with Donald Trump and won't defend Donald Trump for the next 30 days, he said on that call well, today. And Heather, here's what's important. Yeah. It, it is. Are, are, are we going to secure the border, secure the, and, and restore the rule of law? Or are we going to enforce law enforcement on immigration? Yeah. Are we going to have a strong And those are some of the central questions that we are asking of this campaign. Uh, Congressman Steve King, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have to leave it there. So we've got a whole lot of news to cover today. Thank you.